This brief video will show you how to download and use TechQuipment's LabVIEW project for VDAS. This project provides a LabVIEW interface for TechQuipment's range of VDAS compatible products. We will start by navigating to techquipment.com forward slash LabVIEW. We will soon see a web page dedicated to the LabVIEW project. This page features a download link, which I've initiated. The page also includes instructions, and at the bottom is a list of all the TechQuipment VDAS compatible products that can be used with this LabVIEW project. The LabVIEW project is packaged in a zip file. It can be downloaded now, but we shouldn't extract its contents yet. Uh, the reason for this is that recent versions of Windows often restrict access to files such as our zip file uh, when they've been obtained from the internet. We will have to unblock the zip file before extracting its contents. When the file is finished downloading, we will navigate to the folder where the file is located. We right-click the file in order to access the Properties dialog. At the bottom of the General tab, we see a security section with a checkbox labelled Unblock. We simply tick this checkbox and then select OK. I already have a folder on my desktop where I'd like to place the contents of the VDAS LabVIEW project. I simply select the contents of the zip file and copy these to my desired folder. With the files safely extracted, I can now close a few windows and I'm ready to open the project using LabVIEW. Now we can see the project within LabVIEW. The project contains a pre-configured VI for each TechQuipment product. We select the VI named after the product that we wish to collect data from, in this case TD1000. Two windows appear. The larger contains numeric fields which are configured to display data from a connected VDAS unit. The smaller window is used to start and stop communications with the VDAS. I'm going to execute the VI. The green indicator tells us that we have a VDAS unit connected. Clicking the Start Comms button will initiate data communications. You will see data values appear in the fields. The block diagram can be accessed. This allows you to modify or extend the functionality of the VI. You can check for new versions of the project by visiting techquipment.com forward slash labview.